the star going to the sun. It doesn't seem to work anymore. Okay, so what is it pointed at now, I wonder? If I can even look? Or I have to crouch? Nope. Well, that's a shame. Let's open and look through that. Oh, I'm getting my controls all mixed up. There we go. Alright, let's see if I can get to the second floor. Can't do anything. All right, let's go through that other door. I bet you it's outside, and I'll bet you all like die or some shit. <laughs> oh, I can't even go through it. Can't even interact with it. Oh, it should make a different noise if it doesn't work. Well, I guess it not doing anything means it doesn't work. Hmm. Not exactly sure what to do here. I guess let's go back up to the third floor. That was most definitely my knee popping, if you heard that. Sorry. I'm an old man. I pop when I move. <laughs> Nothing, huh? There's that painting. Oh, okay. What? Please, come in. Again, I'd rather not. Last time you said that, you put your book into me. Uh, what do you got before I go in there? A lot of weird shit. So how goes your journey aboard the ship? It seems pretty fun. You don't have to be scared. I just possess an alien power. What? I am blind. I created that book you possess as a substitute. I am able to see the world through the book as it travels around the world. Yes, the entire world. <laughs> What's this? You have something interesting. I speak of the sphere you possess. Will you give it to me? Um, do I have a choice? Well, in layman's terms, let's just say that it is another type of energy. I'd rather not give anything to this man. He's creeping me out. I have a out. certain goal I am trying to achieve. I need that sphere. Of course I shall reward you with something that will be of use to you. How about it? Is there a way I can persuade you? I have a feeling I won't be able to do anything unless I do this. Thanks. Here, take this with you. This is a special potion that I've made. It may be weak, but it has the power to cure you when you are possessed. Alright, I'll take that. I believe this will be very useful for you. <laughs> I got a feeling that's some foreshadowing. You are able to come here whenever you like. Come again. I'll be waiting. Okay, so it's like a shop for those spheres that I get. Oh, I almost forgot. Let me give this to you. 
Okay. This stone holds your destiny. Take good care of it. <laughs> I don't like how he laughs after he says that. Oh, it's my materia. Well, it's one part of it. Alright, and back to the ship, I think. Oh, there we go. I can take the wire. Alright, so I'm gonna go... That's the bathroom, whoops. I'm gonna fix that fuse. Turn the light on upstairs. Get that guy's fear for turning the light on. I, I'm assuming that's what happens. Like, each ghost has their own little thing that they need before they can pass on or something like that. And when they do, they leave that sphere behind. Very interesting game so far. I, I'm enjoying this quite a bit. Actually, it's down here. I swear, daylight every three, every three minutes. The fastest rotating planet ever. Don't need to go in there. Oh fuck, whoops. Oh my god! Put the freaking gloves on. Now I gotta use my last one. Yeah, I'm trying to use these gloves, but it... I don't know what to do. I'm gonna go save, or else I'm gonna die here. I don't know how to use those gloves, apparently. Normally you just switch it off, but I didn't see a switch. I don't like that I took all that damage though, and I, I don't have any more health items. That seems to be a common theme in a lot of my playthroughs. <laughs> 